standing for the anthems, the East African anthem, followed by the Ugandan national anthem and the Uganda anthem. when Bukalasa is graduating a number of graduates on this 56th graduation. We thank you for the guests who have graced this occasion. And we thank you in especially for the chief guest whom you have accorded traveling mercy to this place. While we are here, Father, we call upon your presence that all the activities and the undertaking of this day will be to the glory and honor of your name. Whoever is here, bless them, Lord. Those following us on the live streams, Lord, bless them. Guide us through this occasion and give us the blessing that comes from trusting in you, our Father. For we pray and believe you've heard us in Jesus' name. We can take our seats. Thank you once again. I want at this moment to invite the chief assembly, the, 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 the assembly for the sixth graduation of Kalasa Gurukasho College. You are honored, sir. You are welcome to constitute the assembly.
Baivaz. That wonderful step we have taken. At this moment, I want to invite the principal of Kalas Agriculture College to address our visitors and share with us the words. Members of the PS, help us adjust the public address. Please help us do the adjustment. I use that. Our dear chief guest, the RDC is present, the permanent secretary, directors and commissioners, distinguished officials from the Ministry of Agriculture and from the Ministry of Education present, the CAO and distinguished officials from Luero District the faith leaders, the chairperson and members of governing council, principals present, partners of Kalas Agricultural College, staff of Kalas Agricultural College, parents and guardians, Bukalasa College alumni, invited guests, members of the press, representatives of the community, dear graduates of the 56th graduation ceremony, Ladies and gentlemen, you are welcome to Bukalasa as we are celebrating this 56th graduation ceremony. I bring you the warmest and sincere congratulations from the management and staff of Bukalasa. Unfortunate that today, under the circumstances, we are unable to be here together and uh, only a few of us are attending. This ceremony was scheduled to have taken place last year and now we are here. I pray that the situation strengthen us all to achieve the vision of our nation from peace and trade to prosperity with our contribution in the agricultural sector. Today we are graduating 673 graduates of whom 232 are females and 441 males in graduating students in the human nutrition and dietetics department i appreciate and want and i appreciate the media fraternity for enabling our graduates to grace the occasion virtually in a special way i want to thank you first for enabling the zoom connection to our graduates and the ubc you are great our dear chief guest i take this opportunity on behalf of management and staff to welcome you to Bukalasa, to welcome you to Bukalasa and to the Minister of Agriculture in general. Honorable Minister, I request to brief you about Bukalasa, the rich history of Bukalasa and, tra and transformative effect of this college has had the agricultural landscape in Uganda, in the agricultural landscape in Uganda is undisputed. Since 1928, this institution has transformed into from a farm institute to an agricultural college status in 1960. Since then, the college has been at the forefront of producing frontline agriculture extension workers, reputable leaders, as well as academicians. Honorable Minister, after the elevation of Arapai Agricultural College in Soroti to a university, 
Mukala Sa stands the only public tertiary institution training in agriculture at diploma level in Uganda. In 1994, the Veterinary Training Institute at Entebbe was merged into Bukala Sa to date. So here we are, we have two institutions in one. Our current college enrollment before COVID is 1,800 compared to 319.95. The rising of our enrollment is in testimony for our, to our commitment to the mission of MAIF to transform agriculture from peasantry to sustainable commercial agriculture. Allow me to say something about skills development in agriculture. In the year 2012, the government of Uganda identified youth unemployment as a key constraint that may hinder achievement of the national that may hinder the achievement of the national vision. A skilling you got. A skilling Uganda program was developed to empower youth with employable skills. Training was identified among others as cardinal intervention along the key strategic sectors, namely agriculture, manufacturing, construction, and oil and gas. Bukaras Agricultural College was selected as a center of excellence in agriculture training. The project is implemented under the Ministry of, Agri of Education and Sports, and we are grateful for the support here too extended to this college through this project. We have benefited through renovation. We have benefited through renovation of the, of the most of the academic infrastructure upgraded the farm structures, retooled the staff, and also handled incompetent-based education training, developed competent-based education curricula. A milk processing unit, livestock feed manufacturing unit, agro-processing unit for cereals, vegetables, and fruits are being established by this, by this project. A world-class library and, and a, a standing generator of over 200 kVs capable of in 2022. Our staff have received the training and mentorship from the Dalhousie University in Canada. The University of Canada has opened up for our graduates to transfer credit and it at Bukalasa to compete for scholarships tenable at their university. Bukalasa is known for quality, and we are sure we are sure the general public that we are still on that track, and for many years to come, we shall remain focused to the same. Our dear chief guest, for other projects, we have a partnership. A partnership is one of our core values and practices. The, co the college is collaborating with HSN, a German private company, to undertake commercial vegetable project to support the training function as well as the income generating aspect. This is a public-private partnership and the first of its kind which is helping us to learn how much, venture, how much such ventures can work for us in the future. We are also grateful to the Minister of Agriculture for the support to agricultural training institution project that has enabled us to renovate a girls' hostel and also a boys' hostel and the farm spray race. And the workshop. On staffing, our dear chief guest, our current staffing level is 129 members directly employed by government, of whom only 49 are, are academic. This situation is affecting, skill, is affecting effectiveness of skills provision because the ratio of staff to students is too big. As a, center, as a center of excellence in agriculture skills provision, in agriculture skills provision, the current organization structure is inadequate. However, aware that MAIF has a proposal for the National Agriculture College, which is if, if implemented,
that the success of holding today's graduation has been the contribution of competent team of members of staff and whom I would like to present to you in absentia. They are not here all due to SOPS requirement. The members of staff here, please, wave to the chief guest. The governing council, our chair, dear chief guest, I have gratitude for them, for them, especially the chairperson, in the name of Professor John M. Gisha, for their steady first leadership to the college administration. This institute has aged in years, but keeps growing and transforming to take on new challenges. In this regard, Honorable Minister, I thank, I thank your office for having provided us with a team of this quality of government council members. They have provided wise leadership and enabled us to reflect and remain focused on the national goals. They have played a big part in shaping this college community by sending, setting standards, driving our ambitions for the future as an institution within the national objective. With their, with their guidance, we shall remain faithful to the values of quality and integrity. We are grateful that MAIF, through the Single Spine Extension System, now employ, employs many of our graduates who are extension workers in the local. in agricultural training and matching infrastructure, the college intends to widen the scope of trainees to range from farmers to school leavers by introducing flexible curricula suit to suit the poor. We expect an enrollment to triple within the next five years. Under this training, a learner will have a chance to determine his or her duration on the course by selecting modules to undertake depending on felt needs. We shall be able to The, the recent past, we have been able to make some few milestones. During the lockdown, the college may have been constrained financially. However, allow me to add a few argument, ad achievements of what has been <coughs> since the last graduation. From locally generated resources, we, re we renovated Masaba Hostel. From Satip and Amaif, we also started to refurbish one of the girls' hostel called Paradise. We desilted the fish pond and re-established rice fields, established MOUs with five private companies aiming at sharing resources to train our, our trainees here. We have, as I mentioned earlier, established a PPP, a private patent partnership to erect greenhouses and open field gardens for production of vegetables. Today, of the college, we don't have a perimeter fence. We request for financial support and improve the human resource structure from my leave to, to manage our new installation better. We also face security of land. Our land is not secure. We have done everything under our mandate, but for five years we have not yet been able to secure a land title in our name. Perhaps you may need your intervention to achieve this for us. Operating under mismatching organization structure has created inefficiency in some areas and also crippled staff mobility in terms of promotion and, creates, and this creates tension. This affects staff performance. Our internet, our internet connection is not yet available due to delays by NITA to extend the cable to Bukalasa. These have affected our transition towards online learning. Service providers. Our dear chief guest, we are blessed to have you 
We know you are also a very experienced farmer. We welcome you and remain subordinate to supporting you in helping the agriculture sector crystallize its vision. As you travel back to Entebbe, we request your office to put You have worked hard and your parents, families and sponsors have sacrificed to get much to get you here. I know you are not all, but you are representative of a big team. The qualification and the quality of certificates you are about to receive are not only a source of pride, but also indicators of your readiness to go, ready to work and ready to serve. You carry the flag, the flag of the unique college. We wish you the best for the future. Make the college proud through your contributions, especially by being hardworking, innovative, committed in your work. The world of work is a sea of activities. If you decide to chase after all of these, you'll never capture any. Let the activities be chasing you in the direction you have decided to take. If you don't know where you're going, any road can, you, can lead you there. The past is gone. We cannot reshape it without deceit. The future is what you have. Much is expected of you. Make us, uh, make us proud through your contributions. Remember, the world is not interested in the content of your certificate, but the quality of the work you offer physically. I'm confident that we have empowered you with the research skills and mindset to deal with all the challenges that, have, that will come your way when you go out there. Please be our true ambassador, protect us positively in your work and in your character. I take this opportunity to wish you all a pleasant day and enjoy journey masses back home. Thank you. May God bless you. Thank you so much, Principal, for those wonderful words. That's the principal of Okala Subculture College, the mighty institution of higher learning with all its mandate. And now it is delivering on part of the mandate of awarding diplomas and certificates. I want to invite the chairman, or the chairperson, governing council, to give his speech. You're welcome, Professor, to address this gathering. Thank you. Our dear chief guest, Honorable Minister for Agriculture, Animal Industry and Fisheries, Honorable Wino Fred Chakuraga, the Permanent Secretary, Minister of Agriculture, Animal Industry and Fisheries, how do I use it? You want me to hold it? Support to work. Yeah. So do you want me to repeat? Our commissioners from uh, Minister of Agriculture, Animal Industry and Fisheries, special invited guests from the Minister of Education and Sports, members of the Governing Council. Bukaras Agricultural College, the district local leaders and area political leaders, faith leaders, and special invited guests from Uganda Skills Development Project, the principal academic and support staff of Bukaras Agricultural College, our dear principals from sister institutions, the alumni, graduates, 
parents and benefactors, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, first of all, I want to take this opportunity to congratulate our chief guest upon being uh, appointed the Minister for Agriculture, Animal Industry and Fisheries and also welcoming him to Bukarasa Agricultural College for his very first time. And on that note, I thank His Excellency the President for the good choice he has made for us. Thank you, Honorable Minister, for honoring this occasion by presiding over the 56th graduation ceremony of Bukarasa Agricultural College. I want to thank members of the Governing Council for the supportive role they have played in steering this college on the right course and the achievements are attained. I thank the management, academic and non-academic staff of Bukarasa Agricultural College pandemic. At this juncture, Honorable Minister, I congratulate all the graduates for successfully completing the rigorous training at Bukaras Agricultural College that is today earning them the various academic awards. I do appreciate the support your parents your guardians and your sponsors have invested in you and all the sacrifices they have made to enable you to come this far. I apologize, one, for delaying this graduation ceremony, which is supposed to have taken place early last year. but we blame all that on COVID-19. Honorable Minister, the Minister of Agriculture, Animal Industry and Fisheries, and the Minister of Education and Sports have tirelessly supported us to train grassroots extension staff and practitioners in the field of agriculture. The Minister of Agriculture, Animal Industry and Fisheries, through support to, tra to Agricultural Training Institution Project, that is SATIP, has reconstructed a male dormitory, which was put down by fire some years back. The support ha has also renovated the workshop and provided workshop tools. It has reinstated the spray race at the livestock farm and presently is undertaking the renovation of the, the, the female hostel. The governing council is very gratified for this undertaking. To the Ministry of Education and Sports, we are very grateful for having selected Bukara Agricultural College as a center of excellence to spearhead the paradigm shift from the current supply-driven system to a demand-driven skills development system. The Uganda Skills Development Project has ushered in a new era of bilateral cooperation between the two ministries, Minister of Agriculture and Minister of Education. The project is supporting and facilitating human resource capacity building, and at the same time, providing the necessary teaching and other forms of training, research, 
and community engagement infrastructure. This infra infrastructure, as well as the modern tools, equipment, and machinery provided, is very timely and will make our training more relevant to the world of work and also bridge the knowledge and skills gaps that has been identified by the industry. Of course, Honorable Minister, the acquired infrastructure and the accompanying equipment and machinery come along with added costs in terms of maintenance. On that note, Honorable Minister, I request the Minister of Agriculture, Animal, Industry and Fisheries to increase the subvention to the college in order to maintain the infrastructure and keep the equipment and machinery functional and in good working condition. Like the principal has uh, hinted on, for the safety of this infrastructure, the Governing Council requests the Minister of Agriculture, Animal, Industry and Fisheries for support to fence the college premises and also to beef up the security. This will also stop the 24-hour trespasses due to the porous boundaries which have for a long time caused disruptions of college programs and activities including encroachments on college land. Our chief guest, allow me to share with you a few milestones in our tenure, that is for the last 10 months. The, gov the governing council has been instrumental in paving way for the Uganda Skills Development Project underlining all project outputs and activities within the vision and mission of the college. The activities undertaken by the Council in that respect include guiding the development and approval of the college strategic and business plan, approval of the college gender policy, guiding the development and approval of the institutional development plan, approval of the human resource policy, approval of curriculum-based and non-curriculum-based infrastructure, and guiding the development and approval of the national occupational standards that provided the basis for developing uh, the, the curriculum-based and non-curriculum-based curricula, where we have three certificate programs and three diploma uh, programs uh, running. We have also ensured that all the training to keep the college afloat and operational even during COVID-19 pandemic and the lockdowns. We have provided the necessary support and guidance to management to develop open and distance education learning, the material that we need, such that we start online, online teaching and learning. We have approved MOUs with different companies, including the Flow Best Greenhouse, which has a business training model in its operation, and it integrates our students when they are training, such that they have the needed uh, hands-on practical skills. However, Honorable Minister, implementation of the Governing Council agenda has been punctuated by a number of challenges. A few of them include planning for college programs and activities has been severely affected by the COVID-19 pandemic with its related restrictions. The college has been closed to students and most of the staff 
for a large part of 2020 and 2021. So a number of activities have been paralyzed. Two, starting this financial year, 2021-2022, public service changed the salary structure for our staff from salary structure 2 to salary structure 4B, which implied and resulted into reduction in the salaries paid to our staff. This has demoralized the staff and a number of academic activities have consequently, consequently stagnated. The Governing Council has raised the concern to the Permanent Secretary, Minister of Public Service. Three, some staff have retired and others have been transferred, but without replacement. And Honorable Minister, this has created a big gap in our service delivery. Honorable Minister, I have already requested you to increase the subvention to the college, and I also requested for support to fence the college premises. So I'm repeating this for emphasis. Sir, I also request for your intervention to reverse the reduction of staff salaries caused by erroneous placement of our staff to a post-primary teacher's salary structure for B. Honorable Minister, we need your continuous support in implementing our strategic and business plan and more urgently in shifting to branded teaching and learning a necessity created by COVID-19 pandemic. We have to go online teaching whatsoever. Our chief guest, I conclude by imploring our graduate, graduates now to go out and serve the agricultural sector, whether in private or uh, public circles, the communities and the country at large with passion to a middle-income economy. The college has cultivated in you the soft and hard skills you need to attain your destiny. You are well qualified for a wide range of opportunities for your career development, including pursuing higher academic qualifications for greater horizons and visibility for God and my country. Thank you, thank you, Professor Chairperson of the Governing Council. He has spoken. And he has spoken for Bukalasa, for everybody in Bukalasa. Thank you so much, Professor. I want to welcome all of you who have arrived after we did the first welcome. And we shall be recognizing you shortly. I want at this moment to invite the permanent secretary represented to come and speak to us. Thereafter, I will request him humbly to invite the chief guest who will speak to this 56th graduation assembly. Thank you and welcome. The PS is represented by Max Remba, who is the Commissioner for Human Resource Management of MAIF, and he is representing the PS for MAIF. Thank you for blessing this occasion. Welcome to speak to the gathering. Uh, 
the Honorable Minister, uh, Chair of Governing Council, uh, Principal, graduates, uh, parents, officials from Ministry of Agriculture, distinguished guests, members of the press, uh, ladies and gentlemen, allow me on behalf of the Permanent Secretary to welcome you to this 56th graduation ceremony of Karasa Agricultural College. Administratively, the Permanent Secretary promises to give you all the administrative support that you need. But most importantly, he requests you to ensure that you use the resources allocated to you effectively and efficiently. He requests you to be innovative because the world is changing. He requests you to be responsive to the needs of farmers and most importantly exhibit the highest degree of customer care. The Ministry is undergoing restructuring and I've heard from uh, the speech of the Principal and the Chair of Governing Council. We hope that at the end of this exercise we shall have the right structures, the right number of staff and in the right position for the better. Uh, Honorable Minister, today is not my day and in the interest of time and the change in weather, allow me to take this opportunity to congratulate the graduates and parents and then in the same vein to invite you to come and talk to them, Honorable Minister. the chairman of the governing council, Professor Johnny Mujisha, council members present, the principal of the college, members of staff present, government officials present, Religious leaders present, parents, alumni of the college, graduates that uh, are attending physically and those that are attending virtually, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. It gives me great pleasure to officiate as guest of honor at this 56th graduation ceremony of Bukarasa Agricultural College. This ceremony is unique in two ways. Number one, Not in the old normal, but in the new normal. 
And because of that, I acknowledge the presence of those that are physically from the Ministry of Agriculture, Animal Industry and Fisheries. And at this juncture, I wish to thank His Excellency, the President of the Republic of Uganda, Jeno Yoweri Kaguta Museven, for having appointed me minister, from which I have had the privilege to officiate this very, very important occasion. I wish to begin by express, expressing my very sincere gratitude and appreciation to the Governing Council, College Administration and the entire staff for making this graduation ceremony possible. More so in this COVID-19 pandemic era that has limited government operations to 30% of the full capacity of all institutions of government. I also wish to commend the alumni and students that have contributed to the good reputation that Wukalasa has enjoyed for many years. I have no reason to doubt that the graduates of the 56th ceremony will carry the same brand throughout their professional career. To the parents, guardians, sponsors, relatives and friends, thank you for all the support that you have generously extended to the graduates to reach this level of achievement. I know that today we have not been able to convene everybody on this ground here. But wherever you are, we extend our gratitude. As many of you may be aware, agriculture training institutions form a critical element of the broad agricultural innovation system as they produce relevant skills for the sector. Linking these institutions with research and extension institutions is important for continuous flow of knowledge, technologies, and skills. Continuous updating of staff on evolving technologies, skills, knowledge, and information is therefore in this competitive world. As you may be aware, agricultural training institutions were reverted to the Ministry of Agriculture, Animal Industry and Fisheries from the Ministry of Education and Sports in the year 2010. Unfortunately, the legal frameworks were not accordingly reviewed and updated to cater for this new development. It has been brought to my attention that in one way or another there are some contradictions and conflicting interpretations by different actors regarding the legal framework that governs this and other agricultural colleges. This has resulted in many consequences. The chairman of the governing council has already uh, pointed out here in his speech that one of the consequences has been reduction of salaries for some of the staff. The chairman of the governing council has brought this to my attention and uh, my ministry is following up the matter with the Ministry of Public Service. 
I wish to assure you that my ministry is determined to improve staff capacity, welfare, and to equip them to access latest knowledge and skills that are required to meet the demands as dictated by the, the dynamics of our field. Going forward, the Ministry of Agriculture and Animal Industry and Fisheries commits that the necessary policy and institutional reforms shall be undertaken to ensure agricultural training institutions are well placed and well managed. Today, the Ministry has I think four uh, training institutions. These include Bukaras Agricultural College, which is our host today, and which has uh, since merged with the Veterinary Training Institute that was formerly located in Entebbe. Then we have the Fisheries Training Institute, we also have the Dairy Training Institute and we have the National Farmers Leadership Center located in Kampini Nyisa. The governing bodies of these institutions play a cardinal role in shaping their direction. The councils manage these institutions on behalf of the ministry. I have therefore, I, I therefore call upon the governing councils to provide transformational leadership and advise the ministry as we mark on the policy and institutional reforms. As the minister begins is implementing the agro-industrialization program provided in the third national de development plan, the country shall require a critical mass of skilled agricultural professionals para professionals and technicians along value chains to drive the transformation from subsistence to commercial agriculture. Of course, at this juncture, I can uh, mention that the government, under the leadership of the NRM and the leadership of uh, Jeno uh, Yowel Kagutam 7, has come up with a, a new model of has been given the mandate to lead in the pillar number one in that model. Pillar number one is about production, productivity, storage, processing, value addition, marketing. And we are the lead in this pillar. This is uh, an additional demand for skills. And I believe that uh, Bukasa Agricultural College will measure to this demand. In this regard, you are advised to initiate and encourage technical linkages between college experts and relevant ministry departments. I therefore wish to call upon the directors and commissioners that are present here and those that are, are watching us virtually to strengthen the working relationship with the college to achieve our desired mission. The approach of government today is team the concept of skilling Uganda and it has undertaken review of curricula to ensure that graduates produced are relevant to the uh, 
arm here, the principal and the chairperson of the governing council assured me that under those arrangements, the college has been able to reach out to even those Ugandans that uh, ha have not been privileged to attain the requisite, the requisite qualifications of all level and A level to join this college. I'm also informed that the college is opening up training to many stakeholders, making it more flexible and affordable. This approach will enable many youth who do not qualify to join to access skills that have hitherto not been possible. This, however, should not compromise the core mandate of the institution. My dear graduates, as you leave the gates of Kalas Agricultural College today, Take note that you are among the privileged young professionals joining an ever-increasing competitive world. You should go out there and create opportunities to support those that did not have a chance of seeing the gates of Bukalasa. This college has imparted in you knowledge and practical skills that you might not have got elsewhere. Graduation is the evidence of your hard work and it marks the point when you, you are officially ushered to make your contribution to this country and the world at large. It is a moment of celebration to welcome and honor the future alumni of the college. There are many of your colleagues in the field that have been excelled that have ex footsteps. The farmers will lie heavily on your input towards new farming methods. Organize them to engage in commercial farming and value addition so that they can share the benefit arising therein. I'm also delighted to learn that Bokalasa has been proactive and developed curricula focusing on agro-processing for livestock products, vegetables, and cereals in line with the, the third National Development Plan and the Agro-Industrialization Program. This is commendable and must be supported. I wish to conclude by reminding the, gra the graduates that as you go out to, be, to begin a new life. Self-preservation is paramount, more so in these challenging times of COVID-19. You have to maintain a sound physical health, be God-fearing, be honest, of education for having included Bukaras Agricultural College under the Uganda Skills Development Project. It is this kind of cooperation that will support achievement of our goal as government. Therefore, I implore the Governing Council and the Administration to make a full use of the project for the good of Ugandanese. I thank you for listening, for good, for God and my country. I remain Major Retired, Chakulaga Fred Buino, Member of Parliament for Chiguru North in Iganga District, and Minister of State for Agriculture, Animal Industries and Fisheries in charge of agriculture. Thank you.
Thank you, our chief guest. Our next item in the program is going to be the academic registrar presenting our graduates for award of certificates and diplomas. And uh, we are going to follow this, this order. The order we are following, we are starting with certificate prog program. Those who are going to be awarded with certificates, and we are starting with national certificate in horticulture. Uh, we shall be followed by the national certificate in crop production and management, followed by the national certificate in animal production and management. After that, we shall have the national certificate in agribusiness management, followed by the national certificate in animal husbandry. Under the diploma category, we shall have the national diploma in crop production and management, followed by the national diploma in production in animal production and management, followed by the national diploma in agribusiness management. Then we shall have the national diploma in horticulture, followed by the National Diploma in Human Nutrition and Dietetics in Animal Husbandry, then lastly, National Diploma in Agriculture. Before I invite the registrar, allow me to recognize some of our guests who have joined us. We have we are joined by Dr. Henry Naklet Opolot, the Commissioner, Agriculture Extension and Skills Management. We have joined by uh, Reverend Father Bonface, who is the Assistant joined by the Guild President of Bukalas Agricultural College. We have Uh, our partners with us, we have the director for HSN. The chairman of government leaders, I see principals of attached institutions, taking up the governing council members, staff of Bukalasa, led by the principal, heads of the department, and other staff members, the good president, our graduates. And dear parents, you are most welcome to the 56th graduation ceremony of this great college of Bukalasa. When we see you, we feel at your home. My role is simple, is to present the graduates for the various awards. But before I do that, I would like to mention to you that, you know, graduation is only an event that climaxes the training cycle for any academic institution. If this process begins with the training, it goes into assessment. And once the learners are assessed, then the phase of giving them the awards due to their effort 
And now it takes place. On this note, therefore, allow me to thank a great deal the staff of Bukala's academic staff, led by the principal, for your input towards scaling uh, our youth, our young people, and ensuring that this process has brought us to, to this point this far. When you train the students, we assess them, we give them the marks that they deserve, and then our academic board takes from there to screen through the scores, and finally awards the students based on their performance at individual level. When academic body does its work to its satisfaction, the exercise taken over by the governing approval of the successful graduates. So involvement several stakeholders, each being their role at various levels. So this is an input from these actors. And them has done their part and You can read the information that we are passing out 673 of them this morning, but we are only able to invite 25. Please, we feel that you're part of us and you're connecting with us fully as we pass out the number 673 today, the 10th of September 2021. To our graduates, the messages uh, from the registrar specifically is part of the graduation booklet that you received. So, I'll not give a speech. The messages are there very clear. You can read and understand what we're trying to put. says and confers upon you for your reward then you cease to be a graduate at that point you qualify to be called a graduate and therefore you enter our book of the great alumni and you consider you as those who have gone through this great institution i therefore want to invite the heads of the department able committed members men and women who have done their part and they are here to present to the listeners, to the viewers, to all of us physically here, the students, the graduates for the various awards. One common word we normally say is these have uh, successfully completed the requirements <laughs> for the awards of the certificate and diplomas that are going to receive today. And I believe in that statement. The 673 that are going to pass out today have successfully completed the requirements for those awards. Okay? So we count on you very quickly as movers of our sector, and you have no doubt that Bokalasa flag in whatever undertaking. Therefore, invite the to come and present the various awards. Thank you for listening. Dear chief guests, I have the honor to present to you the following for the award of the National Certificate of Agriculture of Kalasa Agricultural College 2020. I don't know a little piece among Eunice Yona, Asasire Jacqueline, Biarohanga Joshua, Chebet Joy, 
chapter yek dokas draru gloria e yokia comfort isabire grace isingoma jacob chivumbi pita chijito brinton nabo kenya esther nalukenke wini o team ronald wek moku andrew chekechan Pony Rose Susan Taka Gloria and Wana Isaac I congratulate all those persons whose names have been read on being awarded the national certificate in horticulture of Bukalasa Agriculture College National Certificate in Crop Production and Management presented by Head of Department Management followed by National Certificate in Animal Production and Management, presented by Head of Department, Management. Dear Chief Guest, I have the honor to present to you the following persons for the award of a National Certificate in Crop Production and Management of Bukalasa Agricultural College. Ajok Sophia and Dorothy Flores. I congratulate all those persons whose names have been read on being awarded the National Certificate in Crop Production and Management of Bukalasa Agriculture College. Dear Chief Guest, I have the honor to present to you the following persons for award of a National Certificate in Animal Production and Management of Bukalasa Agricultural College. Cheswa Erukana, Lenia Dorin Ndezo, Nelson Mandela, Owat Boni. I congratulate all those persons whose names have been read on being awarded the National Certificate in Animal Production and Management of Kalasa Agriculture College. Okay. Next in line, we have National As the, the HOD crop is preparing to come and give the national certificate in agriculture. That group is presented by the head of the department, agribusiness management. Dear chief guest, I have the honor to present to you the following persons for the award of a national certificate in Agribusiness Management of Bukalasa Agricultural College. Abeja Mary, Alezuyo Judith, Amia Grace, Anguilagu Albert, Asimwe Patience, Aviku Atobwa, Boto James, Drametu James, Janzuk Samuel, Kalemera Matthew, Michael Innocent, Murunji Masereka, Natasha Albright, Sande Julius, Tumwela the Wilberforce and Vico Scovia. I congratulate all those persons whose names have been read on being awarded the National Certificate in Agribusiness Management of Bukalasa and Petro Dear chief guests, I have the honor to present to you the following persons for the award of a national certificate in agriculture of Kalsa Agricultural College. Abola Justin, 
Acheng Robina, Acheng Flavia, Achola Nancy, Achiko Martha, Aguminiak Julius, Ahewa Marion, Ahumza Pechuthlin, Ajokoni, Achim Swaib, Akite Moli, Akugiziwe Godwin, Alima Fikra, Alunyo Edwin Moses, Amanio Kevin, Amid Young Salome, Amuke M. Jafal, Amoli Martin, Anglio Dens, Anirot Gloria, Apio Lois Patricia, Arinda Spencer, Asaba Matayo, Atibo Michael, Atim Lona Gillian, Avaga Nathan, Aibu Kennedy, Aikobu Emmanuel, Aikoru Sharon, Badaru Caroline, Bakwatini Sasezi, Batre Tony, Bosco Jame, Biamukama Danzel, Chandiru Harriet, Chandia Ruth Remis, Chebet Luz Moses, Chelogoy Caleb, Clinton Amon, Dwaberu Grace, Dwalega Isaac, Dwani Stephen, Achengu James, Alia Dorish, Angulo Emmanuel, Enze, Bebo, Enze Debo Innocent, Apiangu Job Jonah, Peter Kennedy, Gole Kenneth, I was at uh, Draberu Grace, not, not there. Draberu Grace, Draberu Isaac, Ben, Alia Dorish, Angulo Emmanuel, Anze Debo Innocent, Epiangu Job John. John Garang Deng, Kalioa Melad, Kenyi Kusofa Mule, Chisache Olivia, Kisamungu Julius, Kugonza Arafa, Changabo Emma, Chomugisha Sara, Lapolo Yunis Gloria, Life Kasifa, Rugwire Martin, Malish Emmanuel, Mambo Derek, Mugalu Brian, Muguzi Joel, Mukasa Derek, Michelin, Mulabi Am Amos Eric, Mungberi Brian, Moon Boni, Muanguzi Samuel Peter, Mwesigwa Timoth, Nabanji Rachel, Nabweten Esther, Nadia Elie, Nagawe Edith Natasha, Nahawe Collins Bilhehi, Nakai Violet, Nakaz Speciosa, Amtevisara Gomnae, Nanyonga Charity, Polam, Ochoko Fred, Okelo Gino, Okwe Calvin Ray, Onen Samuel, Ongom Peter, Opiku Justin Loporong, Orio Ambrose, Otai Caucus, Omo Dixon, Owaich Daniel, 
Peter Bakata Joseph Banja, Peter Shaban, Sadat Aiko Issa, and Tosime Harriet. Whose names have been read on being awarded the National Certificate in Agriculture of Bukala Agricultural College. Dear Chief Guest, I have the honor to present to you the following. Dear Chief Guest, I have the honor to present to you the following persons for the award of a national certificate in animal husbandry of Bukalasa Agricultural College. Abes J. Tyson, Abol Emmanuel, Achayo Evarin, Agaba Innocent, Aloro Gift, Angola Samuel, Anguyo Patrick, Anida Dominic Alpha, Apio Hilda, Ariko Sara, Arinaito Ediga, Arinda Natasha, Asara Angela, Ashtaku Filiam, Atim Nora, Atunamuire Wilson, Babirie Ramzaya, Balikudembe Joseph, Basimbe Victor, Brown Michael, uh, Buamike Eliasaf Dixon, Chaku Henry, Chemos Edwin, Dima Steven, Gita Eria, Gorola Shafik, Jamal Hamid, Jumba Jordan, Kabubi Mark, Kakewe Lamek, Karungi Harriet, Katabarwa Isaac Munyani, Katende Peter, Katerega Dennis, Katok Kereb, Kavuma Godfrey, Kayemba Kizito Francis, Kaziwe Dona, Kijambu Amon, Kimboa Ronald, Kimpi David Roni Rodini, Kirabo Esther, Kirabo Pius Paul, Kirinyi Rogers, Kisitu Samuel, Kitentera jo Jonan, Kiyinji Robert, Konga Winnie, Kushaba Johnson, Chakua Loy, Luwama Benedict, Lugobe Timothy, Lure Benjamin, Luerekera Usama, Ruanyaga Derek, Ruanyaga Vincent, Liada Wilson, Maris Alan Peter, Makodiri Barbara, Mpima Musa, Mugisha Amon, Mugwanya Moses, Mukama Joel, Murungi Dennis, Musasizi Godfrey, Musau Derek, Mwanje Benedict, Nabare Elvania, Nabukonde Priscilla, Nakafero Jadida, Nakauki Merani, Nakaye Kisuze Grace, Narugo Erusha Goretti, Narumu Porin, Naruanga Olivia, Namanya Innocent, Namatovu Morin, Namatovu Sauda, Namumiru Maria, Namugasara, Namureva Hajara, Nandigove Christopher, Naiga Florence, Ndeku Anthony, Ndiwa Cedric, Ntala Aloysius, Nuwamanya Benoni, Obongo Lawrence, Odongo Innocent, Ogwanga Daniel, Ojambo John, Ongom Emmanuel, Onyutha Robin, Oyet Bernard, Pony Scovia, Sebunya Martin, Sekate Steven, Sekizivu Lincoln, Sechanzi Wycliffe, Semwezi Paul, Serubiri Shakur, Serunjoji Ronald, Serwondo Julius, Sewante Vincent, Tolit Hoska Paul, Towongo John Sebit David, Tumukunde David, 
Tumusime Robert, Vubia Ronald, Wakisi Dixon, Walugembe Ivan, Wamara George, William uh, Warren Anthony, Watia Elijah, Zemei Forbeth. Guess of honor I present. I congratulate all those persons whose names have been read on being awarded the National Certificate in Animal Husbandry of Bukalas Agricultural College. Chief Guest, I have the honor to present to you the following persons for the award of a National Diploma, Crop Production and Management of Bukarasa Agricultural College. Achen Dorin Sindrela, Acham Slivia, Androle Joel, Ahimbisiwe Vicent, Akankwasa Dixon, Alupo Christine, and Abat Jacob, Anenochan Juliet, Angua Jacqueline Raru, Anyazo Dominic, Atuhereza Godwin, Babiria Ruth, Yuriamu Shaiso Alex, Esetu Edmond, Eteru Joseph, Langisa Mili, Mugajakisa Pius, Ogwang Sam Owili, Okero Joel, Okwir Joffre, Orupo Santino, Onama Mahamudu, Onapa George, Oneraj Fred, Opio Jonas, Ovonji Dens, Ratibu Muhammad, Sali Julius Sentongo, Tivenda Eddie, and Twino Mujuni Roset. Whose names have been read on being awarded the National Diploma in Crop Production and Management of Bukalas Agricultural College. Chief Guests, I have the honor to present to you the following persons for award of a National Diploma in Animal Production and Management of Bukalasa Agricultural College. Acha Janet, Adoko Edward, Amanya Azarus, Amumpeire Steven, Apio Proskovia, Apio Proskovia, Ariamanya Albert Musoke, Atuhura Dorin, Basaija Amos, Drabuga William, Ekadu Richard, Esudu Esuwu Linas, Kitinide Frank, Kito David, Kizito Godfrey, Kialigamba Karim, Rukchwawa David, Mawanda John Bosco, Banju Faruk, Muhangusi B. James, Nahwera Ben, Nadunga Benadina, Diamuhaki Lawrence, Nisima Betty, Nyanga Vincent, Okomo Charles, Sese Musema, Sentongo Michael, Tindewa David, Tumushime Michael, and Wamani Daudi Chua. Things have been read on being awarded the National Diploma in Animal Production and Management of Bukalas Agriculture College.
have the honor to present to you the following persons for the award of a national diploma in agribusiness management of Bukalasa Agriculture College. Adongo Agnes, Adongo Nancy, Amiko Innocent, Asimwe Marvin, Atim Grace, Atimango Desire, Atheire Blender, Aite Stella, Baguma Christopher, Baluku Richard, Bukenya Emmanuel, Buchire Brian, Chandiru Yunis, Elivancha Patrick, Jakonyi Owen, Jokudu Jen, Junju Ronald, Kamgisha Onan, Kasana Ismail, Chibuka Ambrose, Chinahire Pamela, uh, Cheswa Musa, Lakicha Gloria, Leno Lucky Moses, Loija, Mark, Loija John Mark, Magezi Edward, Male Elnest, Bonim Padonatas, Moses Mono Edward, Mugere Dan, Muhanji Abdu, Muja Skovia, Mucha La Fiona, Musime Martin, Nabu Kenya Maureen, Najuna Alan, Nakabugo Nusula, Nakanjako Maria, Nakwera Sara, Nalugo Brenda, Ngiro Jennifer, Subuga Edmond, Ochaya Thomas, Ochen Geoffrey, Ogwang Brian, Ojolo Julius, Okedi Peter, Okotel Nicholas, Opio Caesar, Oponya Steward, Oyisigire Jesse, Oyela Dan Diana, Seba Tafred, Seguya Frank, Tayewa Daniel, Tumoranze Benon, Tinomuchunguzi Gideon, Wafula Alan, Wasagali Keti, Waswa Tito, Wobusobozi Eli, and Yabuto. the National Diploma in Agribusiness Management of Kalasa Agriculture College. Chief guests, I have the honor to present to you the following persons for the award of the National Diploma in Horticulture of Bokalesa Agricultural College. A Chen Raila, Agupia Richard, Ainembabazi Jennifer, Ajidiro Fay, Alele Sharon, Alira William Patrick, Alonyo Thelma, Angom Agnes Adong, Aguzu Fred, Apio Elizabeth, Aroga Rachel, Auma Deborah Beatrice, Auma Gloria, Aiko Dennis, Chandia Ma Mariana, Ch Chemutai Joshua Mwanga, Isingoma Patrick, Iziku Rose, Jabot Isaac, Kaligo Paul, Kaseta Martin, Kayeng Evelyn, Kayiwa Simon Peter, Chemugisa Mary, Kiria Dan, Kuyochin Rispa, Latuer Francis, Mokta Henry Chivu, Mukako Salim, Nabifo Stella, Naduga Resti, Nakiro Anna, Nachitende Gertrude, Nalu Begatina, Nalumansi Imachulet, Namanja Phillips, Nankoberani Juliet, Nanvuma Ariet, Nyafono Joan Beatrice, Obong Emmanuel, Ochan Dennis, Ochola Convoy, Okot James Opio, Onegi Simon Peter, Opio Felix Oyet, Sagal Emmanuel, Sengoba Richard, Sentongo Davis, Tabiruka Geoffrey, Tibasima Florence, Tukamushabe, Marion, Tumusime Godfrey, Tumusime Jerry, Tushabomwe Rogers, and Twebaze Norman. Congratulations. Names have been read. You are being awarded the National Diploma in Horticulture of Bukala Agricultural College.
Dear chief guests, I have the honor to present to you the following persons for the award of a national diploma in human nutrition and dietetics of Bukalasa Agricultural College. Achala Abel, Achen Flavia Sharon, Achen Frida, Adravo Godwin, Adrupio Stella, Akelo Judith, Alupo Jacinta, Alucha Akidin Catherine, Amola Catherine, Angiji Tabisa, Angolekori Samuel, Asekenya Jennifer, Auma Janet, Azuruku, Azuruku Justin, Boga Peter Lodu, Ejoku Jona, Emasu Ambrose, Adreo Faida, Ezamungu Agre Sabua, Gonda Toby, Kefa Ivan Emmanuel, Komaket de Gracias, Lanyero Flavia, Rukundo Kizito, Malinga Joan, Masika Lois, Mawadri Patrick, Mulukusa Paul, Musabe Davis, Mwaka Emmanuel, Nabaluga Josephine, Nalubega Sharon, Namanya Asha Muozi, Naruhura Anna, Nalu Jessica, Olega Asharif, Oleke Robson, Omoit David, Ola James, Tugume Hosea, Tinomu Juni Akan Andrew, Uzadio Patricia, Vukon Emmanuel. Here I present. Congratulate all those persons whose names have been read on being awarded the National Diploma in Human Nutrition and Aesthetics of Bukalasa Agricultural College. <laughs> yeah, very good. I have the honor to present to you the following persons for the award of a national diploma in animal husbandry of Bukalasa Agricultural College. Achema Kenned, Andrea Isaac, Agaba Gennard, Agaba Ivan, Agabo Ivan, Ahabe Sixtas, Ainom Hangi Anita, Ainom Dini Everest, Akatkunda Sharon, Akenda Jimmy Leviticus, Akol Claudia, Alinga Mariam Awas, Amanya Abias, Amati Alfred, Ambira Patrick, Amio Francis, Angujabo Collins, Angunizu Maxwell, Arijuna Junior, Arinaitwe Anthony, Arinaitwe Diaz, Asimwe Asuman, Auko Sandra, Azizi Firiam, Balayo Barabas, Bate Medi Sekandi, Bawarana Robert, Biamukama Ambros, Chandiru Jamira, Dirio Job, Ekayu Isaac Amos, Elesu David, Emesu Moses, uh, Kalinimi Rigan, Kalunga Abdul, Kandore Christine, Kangume Kenneth, Kasaija, Kasaija Charles, Kasaja Moses, Kasumba Charles, Kayanja Nathan Cornelius, Kiwangu Si John, Kusemererwa Lake, Charimpa Lawrence, Chamba de Joseph, Lachar Lillian, Rukwago Dennis, Ruchamis Kelvin, Rutaya Tom, Marenga Jovino, Mangeni Ivan, Manzi Arnold, Mbabazi Venest, Masse Ronald, Mugisa Alan Simon, Murindwa Stephen, Munguriek Habat, Muramuzi Lawrence, Musajja Wazardani, Musamari Haman, Mutegeki James, Mwekambe Yokoyada, Mwesi Gwajon, Nakakande Leia Teddy, uh, Nakandi Patience, Narere Bernard, Namara Amon, Namara Lydia, Nampija Rachel, 
na nkanja lovinsa na nunji jen na sasira orichiriza ni msima desire ntumwa raymond nyirando rimana julia odongo julius ofoyoroth jad daniel okidi benson okuni amase omer alvin omgisha mary rubei hayo agnes segu ya simon peter Serubiri Robert Emmanuel, Sharif Brighton, Sebuf Paul, Sekarara Daniel, Sechito Aloysius, Sendagi Godfrey, Serubula John Paul, Taremwa Amon, Taremwa Maiko, Tebande Ketone, Tuliahabwe Demiano, Tuebaze Yoweri, Tueheyo Gerald, Vusiri Nobat, Walukaga Alan, and you are sick, Eric. Persons whose names have been read on being awarded the National Diploma in Animal Husbandry of Bukalas Agricultural College. Dear Chief Guest, I have the honor to present to you the following persons for the award of a National Diploma in Agriculture of Kals Agricultural College. Abdul Hafiz Joma Segwia, Adia Mohop Martha, Adok Rachunis, Afed Randy Dixon, Aguang Sandra Grace, Ahembisiwe Revoncio, Ajilong Speshoza, Akujuna Hilary, Akelo Priscilla, Lema Emanuel Eyotri, Alisema Alichema Dick, Alimo Nomo Joyce, Amese Charles, Ampure Kedith, Angaru Samuel, Aniko Kenneth, Aparo Judith Peace, Apio Doris, Ariaka Alan, Arob Robert, Asimwe Amon, Asimwe Isaac, Asiko Achidri Awara, Achaliba Oliver, Awachango Charles, Ayaranga Wilberforce, Biancy Daniel, Alimu Dominic, Eunyo John Paul, Gadimba John, Gonasa Brian, Miss Lisa Mark, Kalisa Colin, Kanchimusimile Anita, Kavma Francis, Kepo Stephen, Haka Safina, Kenyela Ambrose, Rwanda Awali, Kovsinje Patience, Kovsinje Elena Joy, Koverwa Rebecca, Kusemi Raskovia, Lakel Sonia, Luvunia Bernard, Luetu Te Joseph, Matambuze Michael, Mirembe Leia, Mugisha Fred, Mohechi Rona, Mokisa Samuel Mwesigwa, Mokite Sara. Mungu Jakisa Sande, Another Mungu Jaksa Sande, Murungi Good Luck, Mwonge Joel, Muzito Robert, Mwesi Gwayasin, Nabaloga Sharon, Nabudua Fiona, Nakuru Mary Madeline, Nakuta Morish, Namara Mugabiomu, Namgova Aisha, Nangobi Victoria, Nasasira Banis, Nantumenya Faith, Naiga Rebecca, Niroth Malik, Nsaba Dalton, Obong Loka, Ogavu Albert, Okumu Ivan, Okwe Milton Nikanol, Oleo Jok Morris, Oledo Danish, Omara Isaac, Onongo Jacob, 
Onyango James Obonya Oboya Pony Barbara Rijema Charles Sida Gloria Seka Navo Steven Sechimuli Umar Tuke Brian Tumwesige Marcus Wanina Peter Webirungi Barongo Edwin and Zalwango Nusra Those persons whose names have been read on being awarded the National Diploma in Agriculture of Bukalas Agricultural College. Thank you. Thank you so much, the Department of the Academic Registrar, for taking us through that wonderful moment, the gist of our being here, and the gist of the graduation. Congratulations, all graduates, and thank you for your efforts. While we were beginning, we were joined by one of our, our own, the principal from Sese uh, Farm Institute, Innocent Navasa is here with us. Thanks so much. Sese Farm Institute is one of the three institutions training in agriculture which are attached to Bukalasa as a center of excellence in agriculture training. And the other two is Kabramaido and the Rentanga Farm, Farm Institute. Thank you so much, all of you, for coming. At this moment, I want to invite the academic registrar to give some awards to a few distinguished persons. I want to invite him to take the floor and award, give awards to those who are deserving for those awards. Thank you so much. And uh, you, Mark Coffey is still with us up there. Yes, uh, Mark Coffey is with us up there. You can pass by and uh, take a cup for yourself. We shall ask the DJ to give us an interlude of one or two minutes, and then we shall get to the next program. Over to you. Thank you. As the register is coming, just as uh, we have emphasized, we train for job creation. So Mark Coffee is actually created by our own students who are out there enterprising. Because of the SOPs, we couldn't have so many of them here, but at least Mark Coffee is here. So be part of them as you support their work. Thank you so much. Thank you very much, Director of Ceremonies, uh, Chief West, and our It has always been our culture, and I think it's a good practice to recognize uh, best performers. And like we've done it before, even this time, we wish to recognize excelling graduates okay of course the disciplines we appreciate that everybody worked hard but uh, out of those who work hard of course there are those that excel so at this juncture we wish we recognize those that excelled out of the very many that have graduated today we had a simple criteria to choose who becomes part of this 
uh, awarding ceremony and it wasn't so easy but our basis i tell you was first of all based on the performance of the students we looked at every program that our heads are presented uh, graduate for the various awards and out of these we picked out the most outstanding student from every one of these uh, programs so therefore those who are going to get these awards this token have been considered to be those that excelled in their performance at all levels so beyond that we also try to remember that we have to be gender sensitive and therefore we have a token to the best male and female students respectively right so the what i went to see are cut across those two uh, primary levels of criteria but more importantly is the performance of these students uh, at every program and therefore we recognize them as such when the students do the exams we assess them and then we give them a score based on their cumulative point grade average and those that actually that are here are one of those that belong to the first class category it wasn't easy for us to pick on who to invite <laughs> on the part of the students so these uh, smart dressed men and women belong to the first class category <laughs> you get it so our first class category had actually more than the 25 but of the 25 you appear to be the cream <laughs> even out of the 25 so congratulations allow me invite um the person who led our national diploma and co-production management with a, a cgpa of 4.44 mr onap george for your word yes the principal himself is here to This award should be awarded by the chief guest himself. So we can't accept any less than that. Thank you, Principal, for guiding. Like I said, Miss Onapu Joy was our best, the cream out of the crop production and management category. Mr. Onapu, congratulations. The best in national diploma in animal production and management is Sese Musema. He had the SGPA of 4.14. Congratulations. Be swift, be swift, be swift. Ses Musema, National Diploma in Animal Production and Management. Congratulations. National Diploma in Agriculture, the best student was National Diploma in Agriculture, the best student was Elimo Dominic. He had a CGP of 4.56. Elimo Dominic, congratulations. As the the best also comes near. That is the Dominic, Dominic receiving the award for the best student, student national diploma in agriculture. National diploma in animal husbandry is here. Mangeni Ivan, more forward for the award from the guest of the chief guest. Yes, the next student is the national diploma in agribusiness management, Nabu Kenya Maureen. 
Congratulations. As she comes, I am honored to inform you that she was also the, the first leader for that class. So she was not only leading academically, but even in terms of management, she was the one managing the class. Navu Kenya Maureen, congratulations. National Diploma in Horticulture is Aiko Dennis. Aiko Dennis. Uh, Navu Kenya Maureen has a CGP of 4.61. And then uh, Aiko Dennis, National Diploma in Horticulture. Please be faster. We take a first class student. National Diploma in Horticulture, Aiko Dennis, has a CGP of 4.64. <laughs> Next is National Diploma in Human Nutrition and Dietetics, Lokondo Kizito. Lokondo Kizito, congratulations. The product is to has a national uh, has a, a CGP of 4.75. Then the national certificate in agriculture, Binia. This is the Changawo Emma. This is Kundo Kizito. Congratulations. National certificate in agriculture, Changawo Emma. Come, come. Uh, he has a CGP of 4.77. Then the National Certificate in Animal Husbandry, Kirawa Esther. Come near. Kirawa Esther, National Certificate in Animal Husbandry. As uh, she comes, and Kirawa Esther has a CGPA of 4.61. Congratulations. National Certificate in Agribusiness Management is Avuko Atuboa Eric. Come nearby. National Certificate in Agribusiness Management, Aviko Atuboa Eric. I seem not to be coming through. National Certificate in Horticulture is Amon Yunis Yona. Amon Yunis Yona has the SGP of 4.5. Okay. Congratulations. We we have the honor to invite the best male student in that category. Best male student is the Mangeni Ivan. Mangeni Ivan. You are welcome. Yes. He's the same Mangeni, but this is a different award. Best male student. Congratulations. And the, and the best female student, the, 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 this is very interesting. The ladies were neck to neck, and we, were, we have no choice but to choose two of them. Now Kenya Maureen and Kirabo Esther, all of them with the CGP of 4.61. Congratulations. This was not a race like other races. It was an academic race. Incidentally, all of them were racing in their own lanes. They were racing in different courses, but racing for the best female student. Congratulations, Nabu Kenya Maureen and Kirawa Esther. Nabu Kenya, then Kirawa Esther. Nabu Kenya Maureen. And Kirawa Esther, congratulations. I have the honor once again to announce to you the best overall student who is none other than Mangeni, Mangeni Ivan. He has the CGP of 4.8. And of that five, he has 4.8. I think he left enough and he took enough of that five. Congratulations. Ivan and the whoever was behind your success, congratulations. Thank you so much. So we we invite all the okay. we want
want to invite all the students to come and assemble here. And we invite the team for the cake to present it here so that we, we are moving towards the close of this function. All the students? Yes. All the students come here for a, for a photo. Come here for the photo. As they, are coming, as they are coming, we don't have to lose time. The team that has prepared the cake is also I will ask you to, to pass, keep your social distance, keep your mask on, you pass this side and uh, be ready for a photo with the chief guest. Congratulations for being part of the cream that is here. principal and the best performing students to move gently that we conclude this event with an agricultural cake from uh, we want to represented by horticultural products and the academia yes i, I will invite the the chief guest the, the chairperson council the principal the registrar Our new graduates can graduates can take your seats. I will invite the overall male student, the overall female students, to come and join this guest as we we cut the cake. The best student, the female and male, female and males. I mean, male and females. Okay. We are at three. When we clock one, we shall cut the cake. Two is where we are. One and zero.
Congratulations and celebrations. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Congratulations. Congratulations and jubilations. I want to we shall have an interlude as we, we, we... Who would believe that I could be happy and contented? Yes. Thank you so much. Congratulations, everyone. This is the 56th graduation of Casa Culture College, an institution, a higher institution of training with a very much distinguished mandate. I want at this moment to invite everyone's attention and the request that we pay attention, attention. We have reached the end of this ceremony. I want at this point to invite the chief guest to officially dissolve the 56th assembly of the graduation. You're welcome, chief guest, to dissolve the assembly. By virtue of the powers entrusted to me, I dissolve this sixth congregation of Bukala Agricultural College. Thank you so much. As the ushers are leading our guests to the various refreshment centers, I want to congratulate all of you, the graduates and the parents who have come to this end. Okay, before, before we, con we, 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 uh, we leave here, sorry for the omission, I will ask all of us to stand up and we shall have the anthems playing. We shall stand up and have the anthems playing. Uganda anthem, South African anthem, and the national anthem. We want to thank UBC for putting us live in this function and the various the service provider for the live stream. Thank you. We want to thank our different partners. We had a delegation from uh, USDP led by Judy Sauma, the media and the communications expert. Judy, this was your team. Thank you for gracing this occasion. We now stand by for the anthems. Thank you.